Here one quick biochemistry to basics here. Let's talk about Benedict's test. Just like Fehling's test and Tollin's test, Benedict's test is used to differentiate between monosaturides having aldehyde group versus monosaturides having a keto group. With an exception like alpha hydroxy ketones like fructose which will give a positive Benedict's test. Benedict's reagent. Benedict's reagent consists of copper sulfate, sodium carbonate and sodium citrate. The sodium carbonate provides an alkali environment. Now in alkali environment, aldehydes or aldose monosaturides like glucose are converted to powerful reducing agents like anidiols. Anidiols can reduce copper ions to copper oxide which can either be green, yellow, orange or red in color. The color of the precipitate so obtained gives the estimate about the amount of reducing sugar present. This has an important role in estimation of glucose in urine as a positive indication of diabetes. Let's see the role of sodium citrate. The copper sulfate and sodium carbonate can react with each other to form a precipitate of copper carbonate. Sodium citrate prevents this reaction by reacting with copper and forming copper citrate complex. The copper citrate complex is very stable and have a long shelf life. Hence the reagent can be prepared in lab and can be kept for a very long time.